We've got a ewe in the corner there that's just had twins, and she may be about to have her third. She's got the digging action going on. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah. We'll keep a close eye on that. Hi guys, Anne here from Ever Acres. We're inside barn one again today and uh, we got lots of lambing going on. We have one right behind me that you see is in the process of lambing right in the far corner. And we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one and see if we can witness uh, the, the triplet so far being born. Okay, she's gone down now. If we're lucky, we'll see her lamb. We'll witness the baby lamb being born, if all goes well. Okay, here it comes. It's just going to slip right out. There we go. Nice job, Mama. Just gonna watch in a minute. If she doesn't go over, I will. There she goes. So cool to watch it happen. So she's just had triplets. The other two were born prior to us showing up in the barn. There she goes. Who knows, maybe she'll have quads. Looks like she had a fourth. So this little beauty has had quads so far. It just slipped right out while I was getting hay for the ones in the, in the pens. But now we got four. Wow. Wow. Size wise, they look quite comparable. Not all that big. Who knows, maybe there's a fifth. Actually, the one she's licking now looks a little bit bigger than the other. Oh, we'll have to weigh them and see what they weigh. Looks like she's only had quads. We'll do a check there to, to know for sure, but she's got four. They're feeding off of her. of a Nikki scene. It's 100% natural. Let's help that one up. We'll help that one up. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Up again. There we go. I was born yesterday. 12.8. Nice. That was a single born though, right? Yeah. <laughs> that thing works pretty good. Yeah. <coughs> that was pen number 11. <coughs> She's now gonna get painted. March. Oh, mama doesn't like that idea. Does she? Look at the mom's behavior. She's just got some livestock paint. Whoop, number 12. Number 12 it is. There. Both mom and baby. I 
think I spot another one over here, lambing. That one there walking. She's just starting to lamb. Clearly have to keep an eye on that one now. Just when we thought we were gonna wrap up. Okay, we were just in barn two. Come back to check on the other one that was expecting to lamb and we spot, we got another set of twins here in the center. I didn't know she was gonna lamb. Where's the mama? That's not her. Where did that mama go to? Maybe around the corner? That one looks just born. Oh, there she is. Number 72. Come on. What's going on? Let's see what got. Okay, let's see what gender we got here. Go to mama. Come on, mama. Here you go, mama. Mama. Oh boy. Quads are all up and drinking off the mama. They're looking good. They're all pretty tiny, but they there are four of them. Okay, so we've started a family pen because we ran out of room for the lambing, lambing pens. We got too many used lambing, we need the space. So now we got, we're starting to build the family pen. Or this would be somewhat of a holding pen until we grow into the need for a family pen. I'm trying to figure out whose baby's who, which mama's which. Looks so mean. They should settle down there. They shouldn't do this for too long. One would hope. So we got one, two, three, four. Tyler and Catherine are bringing in a fifth. And that'll be one group so far. They'll have access to the feeding alley. And water. And their lambs will be kept there all together in a group. This way the bonding between mom and baby continues. Once they figure out whose baby's who. starting to settle down already. They're eating. They got water, feed, and each other. This is the one from earlier. She finally lambed. She's got one. She's got a single born. And this is her first time having a, a lamb. She was one of the replacement lambs, so she's it's her first time. She's done well, it took her a little while to lamb, but she had no problem. She did it completely on her own. Now we've made room with the relocating the five into the holding pen, and now we've got a couple open pens. But otherwise, we're progressing quite nicely, and it's not even new. This you here is not turning out to be such a great mom so far. She too is her first time lambing and she's not all that willing to let her babies feed from her so we're gonna have to help that out a bit and these are the quads that were born this morning we're just gonna leave them with the mom for part of the day because they've all fed off her and she's allowing them all to get the colostrum from her so we're going to leave them with her and then we will pull two of them off off of her 
later today. And they will become more bottle babies. Yep, more. These ones are in side pen number 10. And these are the ones that are, these are two quads from the other day. And you number 69 is the one that lost her single baby. And we had latched these ones onto her and she's accepted them quite nicely. Keep Continue to keep close eye on how they're doing and ensure that they get adequate feed from her. But she's the adopted mom. Looks like they got it. We're back inside barn two. This is what it looks like from the top here. Uh, the lambs are getting uh, to a decent size and age. They're about eight weeks, so we're going to be uh, weaning them. It's making for a busy day around here. Tyler's been working at removing the manure from barn three and we're preparing for barn two lambs to come in here to have their own space. As we'll, we're about ready to wean them. <laughs> Meanwhile, back inside barn one, things have calmed down. Everyone's back in the pens they need to be in. Nobody's lambing. The family pens all set up in the back. And now I get to go home and have lunch. Just after lunch, I decided to take a look at the camera inside the barn to see what all's going on. And I spot that one you is lying down on the ground right along the concrete wall in approximately the center of the screen. You can see she's beginning to land. 